In this lesson, we're going to talk about arc length, radius, and central angles. Let me draw a picture for you and just explain this, and you'll see it's pretty easy. Now, something you must realize is that this, this relationship I'm about to show you only works with radians. It doesn't work with degrees. So if your teacher gives you a question with degrees, you would have to first convert it to radians. Okay, so let's say we have a, a line. Okay, well, let's just do that. Okay, and let's say that that is five units. And let's call that the radius. Okay, so you could imagine it's part of a circle. Okay, so there's the radius. It's five. Now, let's say I would like to rotate this direction, and let's say I also go five. Okay, so I also went five units. I don't know what units you want to use. Maybe you want to use meters or feet, inches, or whatever. Um, it doesn't really matter. But let's say I also go five. Then what we can say is that this angle is going to be one radian. Or you can ask, let me ask, let me rather do it like this. How many radiuses is that? Well, we know the radius is five. So how many radiuses do we have there? Well, we have one. So we call this one radian. That's what it actually means. So what if I rotated 10? What if I went 10? So I went like this. What if I went that far? So that's 10. Then what that means is if the radius is five, then how many radiuses have I gone this way? I've gone two ra radiuses, right? I've gone two of them to make, because five and five is 10. So this angle is gonna be called two radians, okay? Now, just a little fun fact, or something quite interesting that some of you might like. How many radians do you think I could do if I go all the way to here? Maybe you can try that, draw your own circle, draw whatever circle you like. Try give an estimate of how many radian, how many radiuses you could fit in all the way to there. Well, let's give it a go. So I know that the radius is five, so that's about there. That's one, two, three, and a little bit. So did you know that there are exactly 3.14 radians? And that's why we say that the radian measure of this all the way to here is pi, which is 3.14. But don't let that, that was just a little me trying to throw in something interesting there, but it's pretty cool. So, okay, so let's go back to the basics of what I was saying. So once again, if this is five, now let, let me use some different numbers. Let's say this is uh, three. Then if I go, if I go a total distance of six, then how many radiuses have I put inside here? I've put two radiuses. So then this angle, this angle here would be called two radians. Okay, so let's make a little formula now. So two radians. So what we can realize then is that if you take the radius, okay, and if you multiply that by the angle, so three times two is six, then that'll give us the arc length, which is this part. That's the arc length. So this is the magic formula that your teacher's probably given you. I know they've used different units, the formula that a lot of teachers use is S equals R theta. So S is the arc length. R is the radius. Theta is the angle, but it must be measured in radians. It mustn't be measured in degrees, okay? So write that formula down so long, um, S equals to R theta memorize it, make sure you know what the S, the R, and the theta are, and then this section becomes really easy. Okay, so here's our first example. So S equals R theta. We know that S is the arc length, which is um, this part here. It's the curvy piece, that's the arc length. Um, R is the radius, and theta is the angle. So it says determine the arc length. So we all just take the radius, uh, which is eight, multiplied by the central angle, which is two, and that'll give us 16. Now they're measuring in centimeters, but that could have been feet, inches, yards, meters, whatever. Okay, so they had 16. Now if you want a drawing just to see what this looks like, the radius was eight, and then they went two radiuses. So they went eight, and then they went another one, 
eight. So they did two radiuses around, and that's how they gave a total length of 16. So here, yeah, let's go draw this one out. It's pretty cool. So um, the radius is eight, but now they only went four centimeters. So how many radiuses did they actually go? Well, they actually only went half of a radius. They didn't even go one radius. So the answer should be a half, but let's go use our formula. So we know the arc length is four. We know the radius is eight, but we don't know what the angle is. So if you had to get the angle by itself, you would divide by eight, and so you'd end up with a half. So they only went half a radius. Okay, let's do another example. So here they have, um, okay, here they haven't given us the radius. So that's pretty awkward to try draw, but they have given us the central angle. Okay, so they've given us the central angle as 10, and they've given us the arc length as four. So they've gone 10 radiuses. So this radius is probably not very long, but anyways, let's just use the formula. S equals to R theta. The arc length is four. The radius, we don't know. The angle is 10. If you had to get r by itself, you would have to divide both sides by 10, and so you'd end up with 0, 0,4 centimeters. Okay? Here's one more example. So here the radius is 8. Okay? Now the central angle is 5. So they've gone, that means they've gone 5, five radiuses. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, so that would be 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. That's the answer, but let's use the formula just to make sure. So the arc length, we don't know. The radius is 8, and the central angle is 5, and that would give you 40.